Steamboat Geyser in Yellowstone is battling drought. Yellowstone's famous steamboat geyser is the world's tallest active geyser, which can shoot water up to 115 meters (377 feet) into the air for 90 minutes. A recent study led by the United States Geological Survey (USGS) found that Steamboat Geyser has experienced decades of drought caused by repeated droughts throughout its history. As droughts become more frequent now due to climate change, the eruptions of these geysers could slow down or even stop altogether in the future. Even small changes in rainfall can affect the intervals between eruptions, said study lead author Shaul Hurwitz, a hydrologist at the USGS. Dot. So more water means more frequent eruptions, whereas less water means fewer eruptions. In order to form and erupt, geysers require very specific conditions, including a source of water, an adequate supply of heat, and proper geological piping. Extreme environmental conditions such as drought can change this balance and cause geysers to become inactive. Unlike Old Faithful Geyser at Yellowstone, which erupts on a predictable schedule, steamboats' activity is highly unpredictable, with eruption intervals varying from as little as three days to half a century. When these geysers erupt, their hot water spray covers nearby trees with silica, a mineral that protects against bacteria and fungi and can prevent trees from rotting. As a result, these trees can last much longer than usual, sometimes even several centuries, making them a useful tool for investigating the history of geysers. In Yellowstone, you rarely find wood, even dead wood, that is more than 300 years old because fungi and other bacteria break it down. Silica basically protects the tree from fungus. For us, this is an advantage because if the tree had not been silicified, we would not have had any trees to date. Yellowstone Forest is composed almost entirely of lodgepole pine, whose average age is only 150 to 200 years. However, the researchers took advantage of the preservation processes caused by the eruption and collected silicate wood samples from as little as 14 meters 46 feet, from the geyser vent. Using radiocarbon dating, they found that the tree samples belonged to three time periods, late 15th century, mid-17th century, and late 18th century. The water that comes out of the geysers is rich in silica, and when the silica precipitates, it clogs the pathways that allow trees to breathe, photosynthesize, and grow. For us, this shows that when trees grow right near the mound, no eruption occurs, said Hurwitz. By matching the three main periods of tree growth around the geysers with regional climate records, the experts found that the drought happened at the same time as the trees were growing, thereby reducing the local water supply and preventing the geysers from erupting. However, analysis revealed that Steamboat had been inactive for a long time. In the case of Steamboat, we found no tree remains of silicate wood with more than 10 or 20 annual rings, which suggests to us that the tree never grew large in the area. So, there is no period of sustained growth over decades or centuries, explains Hurwitz. However, with increasing global temperatures due to climate change, a prolonged drought in the American West could further reduce steamboat activity. Even a geyser like Old Faithful will soon become less faithful to its eruption schedule as its water supply dwindles.